Hey guys, Justin here. Um, I haven't updated in a while, so I thought I would go ahead and throw out a short video. Um, been a uh, oh, probably crazy two weeks. So last time I talked to you guys, I had a feeding tube in my nose, and um, I accidentally ended up throwing it up. So I pulled it out myself at home, um, got rid of that and then had a doctor's appointment the next day, and he didn't mention anything about putting him back in. He just said, eat, 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 which is all that everybody's saying right now. So um, I'm trying my best, but it's, it's a lot harder than you can imagine to just spend your entire day eating, um, especially when you're so tired. I am still on my IV antibiotic uh, that goes through the end of this month. And so every morning I wake up and I, I go ahead and take that. Um, they switched me over to muscle milk as my dietary supplement instead of the uh, infinite carnation or the member's mark because uh, neither one of those, one had, one didn't have enough calories and the other one didn't have enough protein. Muscle milk has both, um, but muscle milk is very, very thick and it's very hard for me to get down. It doesn't taste bad. Um, it's just very hard for me to get down. So I've been trying to thin it out with some real milk and uh, that helps out some. So a little tip there if you've got to try to get those down and you can't um, but as you can see nothing hanging out of my nose nothing going down in my stomach um, when I weighed myself today I was just over 118 pounds which is ridiculously low but a lot better than 111 pounds so um, just going to keep going and going and going, eating as much as I can, and whatever I do eat, I just need to make sure it's full of protein and things like that. Um, as far as energy, I'm fairly exhausted. Uh, Mayo just switched my chemo treatment over to a pill. Today is my second day, possibly third day on that pill. Um, I can't say that it's really making me any more tired than usual, uh, but I'm just tired. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of not going anywhere or doing anything. Um, so I just ran out to Target to pick up some medicine uh, that's supposed to be an appetite stimulant. So that way it makes my body want to eat more. Because right now I just don't feel like eating. Um, it's hard because it's all, it's like it's the only thing that's on my mind. And it's all that everybody's saying to me is, are you eating? Are you eating? And uh, I, I'm trying is the only answer that I can give them. And I don't know, I feel like I'm, I'm letting everybody down and it's not good enough. So... Um, instead of putting that tube back in, they're going to give me an appetite stimulant and see if that helps uh, me have a desire to eat some more. Um, chemo got switched to a pill. I just told you that. Um, I just went and got some blood work done. Home health care still comes out every week. They switch out the needle inside my cord. Um, cord's a lifesaver. No poking or prodding, no bruising. So if you are in some kind of situation like this and they ask you if you want a port, go ahead and get one. Um, other than that, I just want to thank everybody, whether I know you personally or just through here through YouTube I appreciate all the support um, 
in my downtime, I am trying to work on some t-shirt designs and things like that to sell in a store. And those profits will go towards helping me pay my medical bills and things like that. So um, if you guys get a chance to support me that way, it would be amazing. Um, I believe... I believe my wife might set up a GoFundMe. I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of GoFundMes for things like that. But um, if you feel so inclined to do that, go for it. Uh, What could really help me right now is if you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video. The more people that I can get to see the videos, um, A, the more people I can help out in the same situation. And be the more chances I have of them being able to kind of help me out in a way that I feel comfortable with. Um, you know, I don't I don't like taking money from people, but if I sell you a, a goofy shirt, that's something different, you know? You're actually getting something for your money. Um, but I really appreciate you guys, and... Uh, I will try my best to keep you updated more. So if you have any questions, you feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, Otherwise, just spread the word, Operation Liver, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button. Um, You'd really be doing me a a huge favor. Uh, I just want to try to get my story out as as much as I can. kind of one of those impossible stories, and so I want to be able to share it. Um, I'm still in shock every day that Tampa Generals are willing to do this transplant. I mean, they themselves have told me there's probably not anybody else in the country that would say yes to this um, because of all the contraindications. So I'm very, very thankful for their team. And that's why I'm listening to them and doing whatever they ask me to do to try to um, beef up as far as weight goes and just be be prepared. He so said the average wait time for a liver from where I am is probably about four months. So uh, we'll keep this thing going, keep going through recovery. And uh, I'd like to just be here for anybody else that's going through any of this, whether it's just a liver transplant or whether it's um, just cancer, whether it's both like me. So uh, thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. I'm going into my house right now. I had to go out and get some more medicine. So I'll talk to you soon.